Hello, how are you? I'm having the art day today and have some time to create things on paper and uh, with watercolor. And by the way, I have a very good historical view here out of the window. This is the temple, the pretty old temple of St. Olga. And here is the watercolor of mine. Today I'm having the new box, some uh, chocks, the Vesk chocks, and some of my old box. And so I have, uh, I have never captured this this temple before. Although I'm going through it almost every day, and when I was a child, it was the department of our church school, and here we made embroidery and some lessons inside, some studies, but now it's a temple and it always used to be one. So now it's on its own place. And this is a very beautiful building, by the way. It looks very simple, yes, but actually it's, you can look attentively. It's Art Nouveau, beginning of 20th century. A very beautiful style and pretty, pretty difficult to make, by the way. So, here is what we have and of course this picture can become yours as well as many others you can just write two comments below and I'll explain you what to do if you would like to have this one as yours and I'm very thankful to all those subscribers and people who are buying the pictures to support me and my projects thank you very much and I'm happy that my pictures are now traveling in the world because the pictures must not lie in the box they must belong to people so if you, if you would like this one to come to your house please write me i'll be happy to provide you with the following instructions I'm sitting in a beautiful place, a beautiful uh, cafe, uh, which serves pretty, pretty good coffee and wonderful tea. Tea is always my company to anything I do. I really enjoy drinking tea. What about you? And uh, if you would like to see the final result, just please refer to the uh, community page. And uh, as soon as I finish, I will share the photo and you can easily see or even buy one. So please, please, please look at the community page in a few hours. Yes, I do. And it's pretty difficult. That's why it's trembling. <laughs> and that's why I cannot uh, do it for a long time. But I'm not asking anyone to help me because I actually uh, I feel better when I'm alone, when I'm creating something like this. So for me it's easier to hold it with my hands than to ask someone. <laughs> not this time. At the shows, yes, we have a team. But when I'm drawing, it's my, it's my own time and nobody with me. And I need to be alone. And we have the pretty gray sky. Of course, it's so boring to make the sky gray. I will never agree on that. And my sky is always very bright. I don't know what, you, what people would say about this a bit telling lies, but as my mother, also the artist told me once, the reality sometimes is not deserving being captured you should make reality adjusted to your own imagination and that's so true i think that's so true no no gray sky for me please everything must be shiny and bright and making us very comfortable and pleased
So this part of the city is pretty, pretty historical one. Uh, this big territory, this one, belongs to the main cathedral of our city, San Nicolas one. And from the place I'm sitting in, we are always having a very good and very inspiring view. So me and my friends, artists, are always like sitting here and feeling very comfortable to have a good tea and chatting. Sometimes we are together, sometimes I'm alone, more often I'm alone. But sometimes we are, we are with one or two girls artist as well and yeah it's a good one good view there are a few windows and each of them leads to a historical view historical site so as you can see the watercolor is a pretty universal technique and to make something with watercolor well you should just have a watercolor with you I think <laughs> nothing special although of course there is a real science to be a watercolor artist but if you are a beginner or if you have never tried just do it watercolors are not very expensive you can buy it in any shop and take a good paper I mean the watercolor paper not everyone not every paper is proper for that and just try i believe you will like it and i believe at least you will have good mood or maybe you'll have a good masterpiece because all of us are artists inside mm -hmm. So what about adjusting your reality to your imagination? Do you make things like this? I'm always doing it because sometimes it's so gray surrounding me and and it's so boring and wow. If, if we would not adjust the reality to us, what would we do? And my re reminding to Canada people, um, on February the 8th and February the 9th, I'm going to have the performance with Vancouver Symphony Orchestra. It's open for any people and you easily can buy a ticket. It's on my uh, community page here on YouTube or on any social media of mine, Facebook, Instagram. And I'll be happy to see you in Canada. Just and the program will be totally new, by the way. Totally new with beautiful symphony creation. So yes, yes, yes. Please join me. Oh, thank you so much. I wish we someday would maybe go with you together for some drawing and make the the life from all over the world with uh, pencils, paints and and blah 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 and you'll show me what you do and I'll show you what I do that would be great like to call that natural um, community of artists all over the world what are you thinking about that guys? do you like this idea? Okay, I'm saying goodbye and I wish I can show you uh, the final result when I finish. And for now, I'm going to continue. Look at the community and you're welcome to buy this picture. See you soon, bye bye.